I've had uh, berths on boats and on the Thames, and uh, and uh, had uh, a maternal death. I lost a, a, a woman who um, booked me when she was again 16, 17 weeks pregnant. When I took a history, she said, yes, I've got breast cancer, but I'm treating it with um, coffee enemas and fruit juices and had refused all orthodox treatment. And I cared for her, again, a liaise with the supervisor and midwives and with the oncologist who had previously seen her two years previously. And uh, her condition deteriorated. She got massive secondaries everywhere. I did persuade her to consult an obstetrician. And in the end, up we ended up with a. She was dying, and we did a cesarean section at, I think, about twenty, twenty-eight, twenty-nine weeks, and uh, um, I assisted. We we took her into Portsmouth because they had an intensive care unit for the baby, and uh, she had a cesarean section there, and I made it out a week later. And the baby survived? The baby survived, yes. How sad. That was terrible. That was really, really challenging. And um, she was refusing all um, orthodox care and it was respecting her wishes and yet um, wanting to help her. Mm. And uh, yes, that was very, very challenging. Quite brave of her as well. Mm. to go that route. Yes, she um, had rejected. It was Ge I think it was called Geisler therapy. I can't remember. But it involved um, coffee enemas and a diet consisting of um, fruit juices and vegetable juices. And uh, she put her faith in this. Mm. And also, it was very, very challenging. Because I presume that the option might have been to have had a termination early in the pregnancy. Oh yes, uh, and um, to have a, um, a chemotherapy. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I, th I, with her permission, I did consult um, with the oncologist who'd seen her two years previously when the um, breast cancer had been first diagnosed, and he said, Mary, this was a treatable condition. He was really very distressed, but there was nothing he could do. Do you think that's that's the thing about being a midwife, is supporting women in their choices? Yes, or, or trying to have them reconsider their options and putting their options to them and making your, giving your advice if it's asked for and being prepared to go your advice being rejected. That Most people will take one's advice, you know, they will listen and uh, but um, occasionally one has a challenging case where they want. 